I'm about to go and meet up with Jessica Wright, an abstract painter who exhibits at the Ray Hughes Gallery in Sydney. Hey. Hello! So here we are with Jessica. So Jessica, I noticed that you've been doing some abstract paintings. Would you always classify yourself as an abstract painter? Well, when I began painting, I didn't actually work abstractly. I was actually trained in um, realist methods and in sort of colorist sort of uh, palettes. I mean, I really enjoyed it and I liked doing it. But I, I guess I didn't find that when I made um, realistic paintings, I didn't find the motifs that I was making uh, uh, really uh, personally interesting or emotionally interesting. And these mo motifs, could you describe what they were exactly? Oh, I was just sort of like painting flowers. And flowers. Like, no, and just from from from, real from life. life. Yeah, from as yeah, as you do in that very traditional art school environment. Yeah, yeah. 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 And did you find that you were an a sort of accurate painter in that stage, or were you? always leaning towards being slightly abstract. Uh, slightly abstract. Sometimes I get a bit free of the image and I just you maybe get the marks to be a little bit more out there and then let it also blend just a little bit. I guess I like the colour more than the objects. I like I, you know, I like what I was seeing but I didn't care too much about whether it was an orange or whether mm -hmm. it was uh, you know, drapery. It's just I just love the paint and the surface, and then I just wanted to get closer to that. What I'd like to do rather is actually um, change the canvas. Mm. I'd like to stretch it differently or make it okay. higher edge. Like change what's on the back of it. Oh, right, and maybe make a, a double canvas or a something. A double canvas, like double edges or stretch it over. And then you could swap the painting around if you got sick of one painting and <laughs> just turn it around. And I hadn't thought of that yet, but yeah. I definitely thought of, of changing the shape. I don't know, I really wasn't into anything electronic because I, I'm not sort of person that has a technical mind, pedantically technical mind. I have a practically technical mind. It's a big difference. We talked about Matisse's um, Red Door and we had this whole session about the relative uses of black and also red on black, blue on black, black on undercoat of, of like pink or something. And we're just saying how it's a very difficult colour to use. It's sort of like something that creates a hole in a picture. Black being the hardest thing that you could ever paint with, I just, I sort of got a pot of black and a pot of white and put them down. It was just playing. With and it's them. really simple. Yeah. But that's what is. That's where the beauty is. Mm. That's what. That's why at the end of Matisse's career, it was just so magnificent to see these mm. silhouetted forms that were so childlike in their play, so simple yet so difficult to render, mm. uh, because it's all about placement and space and yeah. harmony. First, really knew that I was an artist and a painter. Of course, also a sculptor. Just. When I was, I don't know, I was just sitting in the studio pouring the paint down and I was just watching it and also I knew in my head it was a suspension and it was, light was going in and out of it and it looked really great and it's just, that looks fantastic. And also, I, I'm, of course I knew all the, the colours that were in it, even if it was black and white, how much colour and how much breadth there was in that appearance. And also just that point in time where you're thinking, but you're also not thinking, and you know what's going to happen, and you pull it up, but you don't, it's not cerebral thinking, it's thinking in the moment. I don't know, sometimes people get lonely, you know? I mean, even if you're with someone, some uh, human condition is that we are feel alone. Well, artist disposition is very much isolated and alone mm -hmm. most of the time, so, um, how do you do you enjoy that solitude? I mean, I do. Yeah, I like solitude. And do you have panic attacks about your practice and think, oh, I'm just hitting brick walls and I'm not getting anywhere? And you can't force it. You cannot. Which is another thing, which means you have to be very organised and prepared for your shows. You have to work two, three years before it's going to happen. You have to be prepared. That you should challenge your expectations, you should challenge your tastes 
mm. you should also challenge where you live for a while mm. because is that why you're going to Paris for three months? Yeah. Okay. See something new. It'll be hard to get a new painting done with Paris around, but uh, <gasps> everyone's told to me this. It. But they said, you know what? If you're disciplined, you can get some done. Yeah. 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 Well, I hope you have a beautiful trip, Jessica. I'm sure it'll provide so yeah. much opportunity. There's and nothing like seeing something in the flesh. Beats beats any catalog copy from ever see. It's just so different. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we look forward to seeing more of Jessica later on.